The Talia rework finally came this week, and she currently is sitting as the best mid laner in solo queue. She has a 53.5% win rate with an 8% pick rate, skyrocketed. New players are coming and playing Talia and having massive success, and she is going to see a huge pro play presence if no nerfs occur. One player in particular, the rank one on the Korean server, Showmaker, has been abusing it on his 1000 LP smurf and dominating. Today, I'm going to jump on the rift, break down Talia. Obviously, it's my champion as well. I like to play a lot of it. I'll be talking about why it's so strong, how you guys can abuse it, and what I think probably needs to change in the future to kind of make this champion balanced. Coming on to the rift now, we're up against a Galio. Enemy top lane is Nemesis. And I got a chance to speak to Nemesis the other day about this rework to Talia. I definitely think, like, I've got thousands of games on the first Talia. Thousands again in the second Talia, and now I've got 20, 30 games on this new variation. So I think I have a pretty good um, insight into the champion. So we're running first strike here, starting Q. And essentially what they've done is they've shifted Talia's strengths. She used to be the strongest champion level one. She had great burst damage and then fell off like a cliff in the late game. Talia now is very weak in the early game, very slow paced. At level nine, she starts to take over the game. Two to three items, she's one of the strongest, if not the strongest champion in the game, and she can 1v9 herself. She would just fall off a cliff back in the day. If she didn't get the one the one uh one tap combo with WE, you would not have been a champion. Now she takes over the game. She's like a DPS, like a rise, like an Anivia. Um, and at level 9, level 12, level 15, you're getting a lot more mobility. You can move around the map and start roaming. The idea of first strike is really just get the inspiration tree. Um, get the runes in the bottom left here for you. Um, first strike, boot delivery, minion dematerialize are very important. Try and carve out the waves, get better reset timing. Cosmic, secondary going mana flow, transcendence, cooldown reduction, extra mana. This is what you're doing the champion at the moment if you want a free win. Move the scoreboard around for you guys. Early game, play very far back. Play the waves, don't play in the champions. You really can't take 1v1s. You can set the waves up for a freeze. Ping your jungle to gank. You have one of the best gank setups in the game. You don't have much damage. Once you come into your Everfrost and level 9, you start farming everything. You start roaming. You start taking team fights. Every team fight you can, you will take over the games. You'll 1v9. But do not stuff up your first 9 levels. They are the most important. You're like a Vega. Very passive. Run set up with your CC. I'm struggling with Nutalia just because... Of the shift in champion identity. I'm used to a very strong early game champion. And I'm running around. I lose one roam. And you're not very fast anymore until level 9. I lose one roam. And then the game's done. Other enemy champion snowballs off of it. So. See. Talon looking. And the reason Talia's win rate is so high. Is because. The E ability. E now. Stuns. And you see that stun come out there. If you dash on the E, you get stunned. It's There's so many dash champions in the game right now. It's making it impossible for these Talons, these Yones, these Yasuos, all these dash champions, Akali, Aurelia, they can't play the game. And they're still learning how to play against it, so her win rate is abnormally high. I think her win rate will... I mean, she'll either get nerfed or people will learn how to play around her, play around her early game weaknesses. I still see people respecting her early game for no reason, as though she's the old Talia. The people are still working out what she does. Showmaker went for the tier start. I definitely think tier is the way to go. Me and Nemesis talked about it. Whilst Archangel is a pretty shit item, you can't really... As we get the stun there, you can't really take over these games without the mana, the Q spam. You run out of mana in the other pres like in the other builds, especially in the early game where you're not very strong like right now. You need assistance. As we look for the reset here. 43 CS at 5 minutes. Almost has enough for Lost Chapter. If you can get a Lost Chapter on your first base, you win the game, I think. Lost Chapter, Dark Seal. You've got your boot delivery coming in. You've got your first strike helping you to get into your mid-game items. And man. At first I hated the rework. It felt clunky. It felt slow. But then I slowly... I've, I've slowly come to love it. I've realized the different in, difference in identity. 
it feels so much better at level 9. And I can 1v9 myself and not rely on my teams. The early game is all on me. I need to try and farm at 9, 10 per minute, get a little bit of first strike damage, and just wait. So you can see the workaround got changed. It is essentially a boulder now, which is a big AoE Q that slows. Only costs 20 mana. It is so cheap. Probably needs to get increased to maybe 30 mana. 40 mana. I don't know. The win rate right now is the highest in the game for mid. And her play rate is going up drastically. So when a play rate goes up drastically for a new champion, usually it should mean the win rate goes down because they're not experienced users. But for champion, for, for Talia right now, the play rate is going way up and the win rate still going up. Which means that she's overtuned. She's She needs a nerf. Because that shouldn't happen. I'm interested to see what Bright do. I think they're going to take off some of the Q cooldown late. And maybe... Try and transfer a little bit of damage in the early 1 to 3 Qs. Alistar. 3 man WE. And we got the big boulder here to work it up. You can see those boulders started in ramp up. As so we kite back. Flash. Out of the Rakan. Are we going to be able to get a kill? We do. Big boulder lands. They flash away. Aren. Grab the Galio and try and grab the Rakan. You can see how he played that really far back. Just kited. Spammed his Qs. And you just don't run out of mana anymore. And I can't wait for you guys to see this late game power. Better dps -er, honestly, than like things like Cassiopeia and Rice. I love it. And you have guaranteed CC with the E. So we head back. Do we get a Dark Seal? Dark Seal, Ruby Crystal. Dark Seal is great because... Magi's just works so well with Talia as you start to take over the game late. I know... It's not early game centric for uh, like a, a snowball effect, but it just feels like if you get an early dark seal, you're able to get, and you, and you play a much more safer Talia, you're just able to start stacking that up in the mid game and you take over. Showmaker, of course. Probably the best, second best, third best mid right now in the world. Rank one in Korea with a suit with, without a super account. 1,560 LP. And then this account is 1,100 LP. Nemesis Reckon Showmaker is one of the hardest mid laners to first on this server. Just a great all-round mid. As you can see, he doesn't have Flash. He doesn't have Ghost. You're so vulnerable. Okay, guys? You're so vulnerable. You need to play safe. Try and stack these boulder cues up. Lee Sin, down a pick, maybe. We head in. Galio Predator. And Talon solos the lead. Showmaker's gonna try and kite this out. But you're not fast. Your E is already down and he dies. team able to clean up though and you can see how weak what's this samir just doing by the way you can see how weak you really are you're still a very slow control mage so if you do get picked out without sums you're gonna die and we're almost man almost i think if we played this game a little bit better we'd be at everfrost by now 10 minutes with boot delivery tier stacking and this is where you start taking over the game. I want to see you guys farming your your jungler camps, enemy jungler camps, mid lane wave, roam down, bot lane wave. 10 CS per minute minimum on this new Talia. The wave clear starts to become absurdly good. And so darn cheap. Just because all these boulders set up. Boom. Launching it. So let your level 9 Q will take out those backline minions with ease. 
come through, trying to land a flick. Boulder. So you want to essentially land the boulder, which is going to slow them, into the W-E-Q. And then another boulder to end it off is a full combo, if you have Everfrost as well, and that should take them out. Whilst old Talia, a W-E-Q would one tap. Nothing is going to be able to match this wave clear. Head back now. Gold, 530. We can grab the Everfrost. And I'd like to hear your, you guys' opinion on this new Talia. Different champion identity. I'm wondering if it's going to help her play rate. Because her play rate was still pretty low. But it's it's skyrocketed now because she's OP. But I'm wondering if there's going to see a lot more Talia mains now. Pretty cool champion. Pretty unique. It's not that fun or flashy like LeBlanc or Zed or something. But it's still pretty cool. As we have Ghost. We have Everfrost. Let's see how he uses it. Everfrost. Flicks them back. Grabs a Samira. Still has ultimate. Ults in. Jumps off into the E. Flick gets the stun. Boulder finishes him off. And this is what I'm talking about. It took us 12 minutes to come online. So right now, if you come into the game even, I'm pretty sure the game is almost always won for me if I come into the game at this stage. W-E gets the stun into the Everfrost. And you want to try and lay your CC. You don't have the Everfrost as soon as you land the stun. You can leave it for a second or two. E gets the stun. W kites him back. And you can just see him kiting to the boulders as he gets another kill for himself. Four and one. Leeson has the Herald, does use it. And look at all these boulder Qs he has ready. And if you can just QQ as Talon tries, and you see how these boulders set up. Talon tries to pick Showmaker off. He has E out, instantly stunned. Even in Korean Challenger, they're not respecting the stun. Boom. Now he cuts his way back, has all these Qs on the ground. These boulders are ready. You need to prep these boulders in good spots, by the way. Head back for the Magi's and Lucidity Boots. 13 minutes in. Looking for a snowball. And I've seen a lot of builds going around. I talked about Nemesis, about runes, about builds. We both kind of agreed tier. Without tier, you feel too mana hungry in the early game, and it really feels like you can't play the game. Whilst late game, you don't have that many mana problems. Just the idea of having infinite Q spam and mana throughout the entire game is just too attractive. Seraphs is really bad cost efficiency in my opinion, but you could essentially just sell the tier off like Vigar do. We're still working builds out. Everfrost, unanimously the best. Just because you can get the E Everfrost into the flick. Guaranteed. The E and the Everfrost are pretty much the same range. The extra health you get from Everfrost, it's so much cheaper. There's a lot of reasons why Everfrost seems to be the best performer. Now, if you're a bad Everfrost user, you can probably still go a Ludens, man. You can never go wrong with Ludens. As E into the flick. Once again, no summoners, zero stack Magis. Poor Lee Sin goes down. I swapped these two. Sorry about that. OCD boys are going crazy in the comments. So I think mid scope reworks. Talia's had one. We had Swain have one a little bit ago. We had... I think the Swain one was pretty good. He feels okay. I think the Aurelian Soul one was really bad. I think that was one that just didn't really hit. We ult in. E, Everfrost, Flick. Getting the Q spread. Boulders just going wide. If these boulders hit, it's a slow. 
Ghost, ghost, ghost. Looking to try and pick up the Rakan. Gally coming in. Got to be careful. These boulders should be able to cut. Yeah, exactly. So you guys see the champion identity and what it is now. Early game, your utility. Mid late game, you're a damage DPS monster. And because the Q2s are so cheap, please farm the enemy jungle. Always. There should be no camps up for them. That's the scuttle. That's the double buffs. Needs to peace out. Talon's found him. Dead once again. Zero stacks. So you're seeing, he's very strong, but you're still seeing him make a couple of mis positioning mistakes. You can't be caught out like this. It's just not really what Tilly is doing anymore. Like you need to be very team centric or at least have your summoner spells up to play. So Talia at the moment, she gets her old movement speed back at level nine. So levels 1 to 9, she's so much slower than before. Then at level 12, she becomes faster. And at level 15, she becomes the fastest. At level 15, Talia is so fast in the game right now as we are in. R, E, Everfrost. Into the flick. Cutting back, cutting back, cutting back. Oh, gets trolled there. Just picks up the Samira. Those chickens got in the way of the boulder. So level 12, you're very fast. That's when, and this is going to help a lot of you guys out. Go to the side lane, shove the side lanes out because you're so fast. And then instantly regroup with your team and look for a cut across alt. You should be farming 10 per minute. And you should be getting massive, massive gold leads. If you're permanently grouping with this champion and not picking up side lanes with the extra movement speed you're getting as a control mage, then you're playing her wrong. You may have found a pick here. Pops the E on the Talon. Do you see how Talon just instantly stuns and dies? It's so nice, this new E. It's the, it's why she's so broken. It's, it's, it's why her win rate is so high. It's just the E, man. E, Nemesis goes forward, gets stunned up. It's crazy, man. We are off. Let's try and grab Nemesis. Can't get him. And yeah. Just that one, that one E ability is probably going to get nerfed. It's a shame. And I'm sad because I want to spam Talia at the moment. But she's pick and ban in Korean solo queue and I can never get my hands on her. I would be Korean challenger right now if I could get my hands on Talia every single game. I can't. She's too strong so everyone's nerfing her or picking her. My junglers are stealing her away from me. It's triggering. So I am, yes, Korean challenger in the heart of you all. But realistically, Grandmaster 400 points is my peak at the moment. Just still better than that, that, that little guy. What's his name? Tyler One that has at the moment. But I still am here for another month and I wouldn't mind getting a little bit higher. Next patch is the durability patch, which means every champion is getting extra health, extra survivability. It's the biggest patch to League of Legends, I would say, ever. The entire game is going to shift on next patch, if you didn't know. Every single champion is getting huge durability changes. Huge. You're going to jump into the game next patch, and you're going to be like, dude, I have no damage. Why are these players not dying? Why am I not dying? And it's going to mean a lot of champions are stronger or weaker. And we don't really know how it's going to play out. One thing I do know is Vayne is going to be a lot stronger. 
as we look for the end. 25 stacks on the Medjai's. I don't think they're able to get it. We have no mana. And man, if you could cap this build off with Deathcap Void here instead of the Hourglass, it would be massive. The problem is having no defensive items is a little bit awkward. The new Talia, you can Q and then Stasis. So you can Q Hourglass and your Qs will still go off. Old Talia, you could Q, you'd Hourglass, your Qs would stop. The Hourglass on Talia, better win rate right now, 100%. Against champions that want to all-in you, it works as well. If enemy team... Like, Hourglass is just good for all-in champions, guys. If the enemy team didn't have any all-in, they had, like, Graze Jungle, um, and they had Lulu support with some decent, like, non-engaged top laner, just go pure damage, bro. Don't waste your money on Hourglass. As we're just styling now. This Talia is so good. Late. You're so fast. You wave clear better than any champion. Look at this. He does have Ghost, actually, but still. You're a monster. Sit on your carries with your E. I'll never be able to play the game. That's it for today, boys. Good luck with the new Talia. Have fun on the Rift. Hope you have a great week, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.